returning to, to direct X-Men after a decade. Why now in particular do you want to get your full control over it? I had a great experience producing X-Men First Class with Matthew Vaughn. He's an amazing director. And he wasn't able to do this. I, I was happy to, that he was going to do it, but he wasn't able to. So it was an opportunity for me to get back and, and work with the new cast as, as a director as opposed to producer. And then to spend some time with old friends like uh, Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, uh, and, of course, Hugh Jackman. So I, I'm very excited by, by it. And it's a really cool story. It's a very cool story that really facilitates this big cast. So you're saying you were the second choice for director? Yeah, I was my own second choice. <laughs> um, and can you say yet whether the old and young Magneto and Professor X will meet? I can't. But there'll be, there'll be certain things crossing over, but I can't specifically. But there is a... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there any new characters that you're going to bring into the new X-Men? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is. But you're not going to say. <laughs> and just finally, I know it's hard to predict the future, but do you think there's any particular film trends in genres or anything that's on the horizon? Biblical films. Really? I think you're going to see some more biblical films. Religion's going to play a big part. Or the story, or if not the religious aspect of it, just the, the myth, uh, the mythical tales of the Bible, your Noah's and your Moses. My writer friends and I discussed doing a Ten Commandments remake and how what that would have to take, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm up for it. I have to see. It would be a big writing job. It has to be told right.